Alright, so we are back in Overback. Except this is Arma 3, and not Arma 2. I know it's weird. Suddenly we are on Arma 3. Yeah, CSG came out with their Overpack variant for Arma 3. Now, it's pretty much like Epoch, it seems, except it's got some more weapons. So apparently it's got the uh, Arma 3 Community Project, a big project where they poured all the A2 weapons into A3 on it. Other than that, I'm not entirely sure what else is present on this compared to just a standard Epoch. I played the uh, Arma 3 Epoch a couple of months ago. I mean, it was alright, but it wasn't anything amazing to me, so I didn't really play it much more. But it seems interesting. And I've heard that it's also going to come to Chinaris. So, Arma 3 Overpack on Chinaris, that would actually be quite amazing. I mean, the standard Arma 3 maps are pretty good, but for like DayZ style gameplay, they're not really all that great, because they got a lot of long sidelines, and uh, well, Altus is really, really big, so. Not really a big fan of those maps for Epoch, so I'm hoping it's got supported to Chinaris, because that would actually be fun to play, I do think. And overall, I just like Chinaris a lot, so having Arma 3 Overpack ported to that would be something cool. So yeah, I'm gonna go try and shoot some people, basically. Right now we're playing on Stratus, so there should be enough people to shoot. We're also at the airfield, and I've already found a weapon, which was a lot quicker than me finding a weapon playing Epoch on A3. So yeah, we're gonna go try and find some people, then shoot at them, and then hopefully kill them as well. That's sort of the goal right there. So yeah, we're gonna go try that. Like right now. Well, that was close, I guess. Hmm. Oh dear. Yeah, that was close. I think I know where he is as well. That could be useful. Indeed. There we go. Is he dead? I think he's dead. Couple more times to make sure. Hmm. I actually don't know whether or not uh, death messages show up then. Cause I didn't see any of it. But uh. Alright, is he dead right now? I don't even know. It's kinda hard to tell, you know, it's just a tiny speck on my screen. Eh, I'm pretty sure I killed one, at least. Maybe even two. Yeah, I think those were actually two separate people. Interesting. So yeah, I just killed two people, without even realizing it. Anyways, I got this TRG, which is pretty alright. There's some snipers like up there. Various people showing up at the airfield. So this is definitely the place to be on this map. Yeah, so far finding weapons is uh, not particularly difficult, which I do kind of like, but it seems like most of the weapons do kill you rather quickly compared to A2. Like even the assault rails in A3 are really, really deadly, it seems. I mean, this is one of the Arma 2 weapons right here, the FNFAL. Looks really good actually. You can also attach the H3 scopes in it, it seems. So let me see whether or not I can. 
Um, let's see, there is a way, yeah, there we go. So you can zoom in with this, we didn't know that, so... Not entirely sure about the community update project, like the uh, giant project to port all the A2 weapons into A3. Not entirely sure whether or not you can use all the A3 scopes with the A2 weapons, but it seems on this rival at least you can do that, so... That's uh, pretty damn nifty. I guess this should be about a DIY sniper rifle right now. It's a pretty good scope. Yeah. I'm gonna continue on with this thing. I think there's also a drone flying around right now, so uh, that's interesting, I guess. Yeah. But yeah, there's a drone right there flying. I think it's stationary though, so I'm not sure whether or not anybody's actually manning that right now. Okay, somebody just shot down the drone. <laughs> There's one down. All right. See, so yeah, I said before, I thought my legs were broken. Uh, actually, in the top right, you can see that my legs are in fact broken. I was right. My assumption was correct. So shit. Um. So I'm not exactly sure what you need for that, which is an issue as well. I hope first aid kit would fix it, but I, I don't think it will. So I'm probably gonna have to find morphine. I do think that exists, or I might be mistaken with breaking point. There's definitely morphine in breaking point, so. There might be no morphine here, but there might be. So yeah, I really don't know, but I have to find something to fix my leg. Or I'm forever going to be forced to be a bush wookie, pretty much. So that's pretty much the only thing I can do right now. I do have the proper clothing for it right now, because I found my old body and took that clothing. So yeah, that sort of fits in right here, but... Eventually I had... Okay, that's a lot of gunfire. As I was then going to say, eventually I'd die of like starvation or thirst, so that's not really an option either. So yeah, I really have to find some morphine, or slowly walk down to try and search for food. So yeah, I took a little break, and uh, apparently that fixed my legs, which is good I guess. I need energy now though apparently, so I'm going to drink this uh, purple nurple. Sure thing, let's drink that. Alright, there we go. So your legs are fixed. I still need some medical attention, I do think, because my guy's like moaning. That was an explosion. Uh, I should be joined up by a guy. His name is Fisher. Some of you that have been watching me for a while might know who he is. Uh, he's basically the guy I rolled with during uh, Overpack Warzone. That was a while ago. But yeah, that's him. So we're going to be playing this. Right now, actually, Chinaris is also out. So I wanted to go play that instead. But... Uh, Download is sort of slow right now, it's uh, it's really slow. So I have that downloading in the background, I don't think it's going to finish anytime soon, so we're going to continue on playing this as of right now. But if I do download Trinaris, I will play that. Because I do want to kind of play on that map. Uh, there's also a guy right there, so I might try and shoot him, actually. Nope. The guy's shaking. And I don't know whether or not he's seen me. There might be an issue right there. Well, he's dead. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of people that seem to be going for the airfield, so we might move away from here. I've not really tried base building all that much, so I might go try that out, or I might wait until Chinaris until I try base building out, but kind of interested in seeing what it's like, because I haven't tried it on Epoch either, so it might be interesting. There's also gunfire over there. A lot of gunfire. I still have to go try that, try and get a car that's working and drive that away, probably. This airfield is definitely hot, so I'm like, you stick around here for too long, you are definitely pretty much dead, so. Kinda wanna move away from here. 
So the interesting thing about this is that side chat apparently can kill you if you talk on it for 5 seconds. That's not what happened to me though. Somebody tried to pull a Frankie on me in that bush, but I wasn't aware of it. I thought it was just somebody talking about side chat, but uh, it wasn't. It was really somebody behind me with a 50 kill, who then proceeded to shoot me in the back of the head with a 50 kill. Also, he was naked, believe it or not. So yeah, I'm here right now. Uh, I don't really know Stratus all that well. I'm at the Air Station Mike 26. Might head back over to the airfield to meet up with Fisher. It's uh, still pending right now. Oh, there's a guy over there. Uh... It's like the most fucking casual motherfucking getting shot at ever. I, mean, I was shooting at him and he was just trolling away. As if nothing was happening. Anyways, he's dead now, so yeah, I still have to meet up with Fisher. Uh, I think for Stratus, since I also don't really know the map all that well, I'm just gonna like try and kill some more people to finish up this part. Then as soon as I can, I'm gonna try and play on Trinaris. Now right now, apparently it's still a testing server, but... Pretty sure they will improve upon that server, and that's probably gonna be the server I'm gonna stick with. Because uh, I do like Trinaris, as I've previously stated, I really prefer Trinaris over many other terrains. Also, I know Trinaris, which makes it easier for me, but I, I just like the terrain, you know, the trees, the grass, everything. Trinaris is just good, beautiful. Yeah, that's basically the plan. I also got this uh, EBR right now. This is an A3 weapon. I'm gonna try and find some more A2 weapons, actually. Show those off, but this thing is pretty decent. Also, a sound suppressor. And there seems to be a lot of 50 kills around, though, which may or not be a good thing, because those are, I do think, a one shot kill, which is pretty damn overpowered. So, not entirely sure about that, but we'll deal with it, I guess. That creeper zombie is running over to that place right there, so there might be a guy there. Yep, <laughs> there is a guy there. Alright, I'm gonna go try and kill that guy, I guess. I don't even know whether or not I've hit him. I think he's still inside. Yeah, definitely. Right. I think he's a scope for this thing. That would really come in handy. Also, some more ammo, probably, too. Don't have a lot of that, so maybe I should work on that. You know what? I'm gonna run over towards the body and try and grab some ammo and weaponry. Well, yeah, he has some more ammo on him, I do think. One full magazine, so that's good. I guess. Pretty sure that guy's still in the building. So I have to go around and try and shoot him. The thing is, he's probably like picking in third person, so. Might not be very wise. Also, more gunfire over there. Holy shit! Okay. Well, now we know there's a guy behind us as well. It's like good information to know. Okay, well, he's dead, definitely. There's still that guy behind me. Oh shit, is that a car? Or is that a zombie? I don't even know. I'm gonna go for the body. I might get shot at. Which would be a bad thing, but... I do kind of want a machine gun, so... I think it's worth the wager. Basically. So yeah, let's hope nobody shoots at me. Like, for a brief moment. Okay. Multi-gun, very good. Binox, holy shit, this guy has a lot of shit on him. My god. So much stuff. Grenades. Should really not stand around his body for too long. Oh god. Um. Whatever. Yeah, let's roll with this GPS. Beautiful. Okay. Good enough. So yeah, this is an A2 gun for sure. It's the M240B. It's uh, basically an automatic DMR. At least an A2. I really don't know what the uh, damage model is like in A3 compared to A2. But in A2, this thing does 8k blood damage, so uh, it's uh, pretty damn powerful. And it's a machine gun, which always helps. I think it's safe to say he's dead as well. Why does he have no shoes on, though? Anyways, this guy I killed had so much shit on him, like, I didn't even know. 
He had a fucking M107 in his backpack. I think a broken TWS scope, a night vision scope, M240B. He has an explosive charge in there as well. Whiskey noodle that uh, can earn you a fair amount of money. RGO grenades. Revive gun, revive player. Shit. Like, this guy is fucking set. Which I am now, so that's good. Uh, I think I'm gonna stick around here until Fisher shows up, probably. Is that you in front of the building? No, that's him. Shoot him. Nope. Yeah, that did not really uh, work out as intended. Primarily, my accuracy back there filled kind of miserably. I don't know, A3 has the uh, different system. Sort of like standalone, where you can also use a combat pace. Uh, I wasn't doing any of that, though. I was, I don't know, I was like running around and then stopping arbitrarily. It was kind of weird. I don't know what the fuck I was doing, but... That's not what you're supposed to do in CQC. Yeah, don't do that. So, that was kind of bad. And, uh, I died. Well, I think it's safe to say there's still a lot of people at the airfield. Hey, what's up, man? How are you doing today? Hello. Hello? Hello? Hey, what's up? Ah! Right, so do you know where all the gunfire is coming from? Because there's a lot of gunfire here right now. Um, hospital. There's uh, a few. Okay, right. We gotta go deal with this, man. Like, we have to go deal with this. Basically, I have a plan. What if you run at them as cannon fodder and then I shoot him? Oh, wait, you got a weapon too, right? You be the cannon fodder. Should not have a weapon. Is that a good plan or not? Okay. Yeah, okay. Good plan. Let's do it. Like Russian style. <gasps> God damn it. Now this plan is not gonna work. Holy shit. MG42. I got this. Yep, somebody's betraying you. Nope, he's outside. He's outside. He's outside right now. That's <laughs> dead. Uh, does any of them have a real weapon? <laughs> let's go to the hospital. Let's retake the hospital. Yes, let's go. That shit is a motorcycle. Oh. Apparently we have those here. Yeah, I did not know there was an MG42 in this. That's really interesting. And it's uh, not an A2 weapon. There's a man with a gun ahead. I don't know how he sees yeah, he, ran, he ran behind the thing. Now there's a creeper running up towards him right now. Are you killing him or what? Well, we have to. It's the apocalypse. Can't trust anyone. Alright. Except let's me. Let's go then. Think he's on the hospital, maybe? Yep, he is. Definitely. Hey, oh, shit. Charge! Died. Oh, shit. Bye, friend! Kill them. Where? That's that. Jesus fucking Christ, don't shoot me. I'm friendly. Friend. Okay. Come on! What? Bart! What? Like the direct chat codec. It's not really seem to be directional, which is really, really confusing, because I thought that guy was the other guy. I don't even know. Well, I got an idea. It's uh, probably not going to work out, though, but it might. It might. Maybe. Oh, fuck. I don't think this is going to go well.
And <laughs> Virgil got double. Uh, this could have literally not gotten any more perfect than it did. 